Elsewhere, man, we're talking about there, Gareth is reportedly the number one choice to replace Eric Ten Hag at United, should he leave in the summer. So Jim Ratcliffe is increasingly confident of tempting the three Lions boss to Old Trafford, with incoming director of football, Dan Ashworth, very, very keen on the move also. Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy were back in the sports bar last night and discussed whether Southgate would be a good fit at Man United. It doesn't feel that like a fit, does it? I don't know, you know. I kind of... I don't... I don't know if it feels the right fit. I don't know. It's because of Dan Ashworth, right? That's that's the link. He knows Dan and, you know, work with Dan. Gets the best out of young group of players. Yes. And right? Yes, I, I see that. Created an amazing, you know, he, he has produced... He has. I, I get that. And know, I, and I, and most I hear successful your England manager behind, you know, the World Cup. Yes, you know. I, I, I hear you. I just don't know whether it fits. I'd have to see it. I don't know. I think well, you might... think it might work? I think it might work for a while to put him back into like a, a path or a culture and you know because look he's done that with England he's yeah. created a culture isn't no, he? No, no, look, he's done a great job. I, th- look, I think he's he's been brilliant for England, but as a Manchester United manager, don't know. I tell you what, it's, a, it's a, there's a lot of lot of opinion on this out there right now um, since this has sort of emerged. If you think of of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and what he's trying to do, Ali, in terms of Putting something long-term together, plan. some long-term plan. He's not going to come in and just start hiring and firing. No. He's, he's not going to do it that way. He's brought uh, Sir Dave Brailsford in. He's got Dan Ashworth. Dan and Gareth have worked together and worked together with success. Now, it's yep. how you want to it's how you want to uh, look at success. I think any England fan in their right mind would, of course, see their team as favourites this summer and they would expect them to win the Euros. I think Gareth, if he wants a Man United job, Ali, will we'll probably have to win the Euros. By the right? way, well, I need to bring you back here. But you think they expect to win the Euros? England? Yeah, I, I think they've got to expect do to win it. Expect? Yeah, I think they've got to expect to win it. I do. I do now. After after Ooh. after a semi final at the World Cup and a final with the Euros and the players they've got. I, th- I think they've got to expect to win I'm it. I'm not having expect. So, uh, who do you expect to win it? It's different for me expecting them to win it because I'm, I'm no English. I no, think, but I think, I think, I think, we, think I they think would expect to win it. I think, I think, I think you've got to hope you can win it. You believe you can win it. You do everything you can to win it. But expecting, phew, I think that's dangerous territory. So what? Where? Where would you expect England to get to? Me? Yeah. I think. And to, to go to contradict myself, I th- I, if I'm betting somebody to win it, it's England, right? But I'm not sure I expect them. To, I, I'm not sure I expect them to win it. Well, I, I think most England fans will expect England to get <clears> to, <throat> to, to 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 at least uh, semi finals. I yes, I think to at, no yes. to at least get to the final. Yes, I, I think I, England fans will expect them to get. Do there. you know what I think, Andy? I think I think England and France are a level above everybody else in the tournament, and, yeah. and I include Spain, Germany, I include all these teams. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I genuinely believe that, and I think the winners will definitely come from England or France. That's what I think. Yeah, and I've got England slight favourites. You know, yeah. I, I really do. But uh, I'm saying I believe that Gareth will have now geared that squad up to expect to win it, to to believe they can absolutely yeah. go the distance and and win the thing. Now, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure Gareth can, and he's only focused. I'm sure right now is on England. Not on Man United, even though all this talk that's going around. Um, but I'm not sure that 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 Man United job will happen unless they unless they win it. Now, of course, they've if they want to chat. And by the way, we're talking about a, a, a job here that's not even available. Yeah, that's Ten Hag is, is in the is in the seat. Absolutely, he's in the seat. And look, and if he wins an FA Cup this year, you never know. You don't know, right? They might decide look, they, they want to keep going or whatever. If they are going to make a change, there aren't that many runners and riders, I don't think. Actually, I don't think. I agree with you. I mean, how many are out there? There's a lot of people coming. I was listening to Andy Goldstein. Andy was having a right dip at Gareth. Oh, it's the last. We don't want him. We don't want him. And all that stuff. Well, if you're putting a team together, if you're Sir Jim Radcliffe putting something together, you put put people together that have worked together, you've got half a chance, haven't you? You've got a little bit, you know, no divine right, but you have got half a chance no, to agree. maybe go in the right direction. I, so, still th- I agree with you. I think the United the thing, I actually believe it's a long, a really a long-term project. I, I genuinely do. Yeah. I, I mean, there's no... The, the, you think of the managers have had since Fergie and it hasn't worked out. Yeah. 
So he's, I think, Sir Jim Lack is going to come in and always going to look long term. Yeah. I'm going to go to a break, Andy. Andy go on, mate. You're a lovely one. Morning, Ali and Andy. Working away this week and staying at the beautiful Wokefield Golfing Estate just outside Lovely. Reading, enjoying a nice cuppa on the terrace, listening to you two. Life is good. That's from Lee in the West Midlands. Good on you, Lee. Lovely, you enjoy your cuppa, pal. Right, don't forget, you can hear live commentary of England versus Brazil on Saturday, and it's right here on TalkSport. TalkSport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.